Windsor Weekly News. I'm Katrina Reinard. And I'm Kiefer Hamilton with the latest news from Windsor High School this last week. The Knowledge Bowl team is gearing up for their first competition of the year. Mr. Thompson is the coach of Knowledge Bowl. If you are interested in joining this highly competitive and yet fun group, then consider the Knowledge Bowl team. Practices are Tuesdays and Wednesdays at lunch in room 207. Their first competition is November 11th at Berthet High. It is a fun way to get out there to learn and meet new people. The Key Club will be serving a place at the table, a free dinner provided by volunteers and sponsored by the Windsor Severance Food Pantry. We talked with a representative of the Key Club in charge of the food drive, Alyssa Harris, about their involvement in the Key Club. Uh, we are hosting a meal. It's called Place at the Table. They do this um, every Wednesday, but we are hosting a meal. We're going to be collecting food at the school with a food drive and then we're going to be go going over there the night of November 1st and making a meal and serving it to people who can't afford dinner every night. We're going to start hosting a food drive here I think the week of November or October 24th and we're asking for specific items like um, bags of sugar, flour, pudding, um, vegetable oil, and juices is what they really need over at the church. Key Club will be serving a meal on November 1st, but meals are still served every Wednesday evening from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. for everyone who is in need of a warm meal and fellowship. Faith United Church of Christ is located at 1020 Walnut Street, directly to the south of Windsor High School. The Drama Club will be performing Fiddler on the Roof in the auditorium November 16th through the 18th at Windsor High School. Tickets will be on sale at the door. Please come and join us. The performance promises to be a great one. Every other week, we will get a look at how the construction is moving along since it is such a large part of our community. Today, Assistant Principal Kevin Kofer takes us on a tour of what is happening in, right now in the school's construction. So right now we are in uh, the English hallway and uh, what has been happening this week uh, in English hallway is the frames for all of the big windows have come in and they just have gotten installed, which is really exciting. We still have to get the glass in, but the frames are now in. Um, they are in the process of reworking some of the brick where we've had to tear uh, some pieces out. And so we're getting that um, uh, reformatted, reworked, um, and the drywall framing is coming up. So the next pieces that are going to happen is we're going to see a lot of our electricians in here getting the electrical work taken care of so that way we can um, start closing up the walls, putting up ceilings, and uh, putting in carpet and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of work that's been happening in here. Uh, a couple of uh, recent decisions that we've made, uh, we are not going to put lockers back in this area. Uh, that is a, a new decision that we made. We discovered that students don't use lockers. And so we currently have about 300 lockers that are in place that aren't going to be affected by any of the construction. So we'll leave those lockers alone and let students sign out uh, a locker as they need it. But we think we will have enough to meet the needs. Well, we are now uh, outside in uh, what will be our new innovation center. And right here, specifically where I'm standing, uh, is going to be part of the new uh, fabrication laboratory, welding, uh, those kinds of activities in this area. So it's really exciting. Um, we're starting to see the foundation walls get poured. And so we can start to see the shape of the building uh, uh, from the foundation standpoint start to come up. Within the next few weeks, we're gonna start seeing the structure, the steel beams uh, start to go up. And that's gonna really be exciting and, and very visual. FCCLA, Future Career and Community Leaders of America, has partnered with Alexis Hugs. We talked to Mrs. Teal about what the school will be doing to encourage students to wear their seatbelts. They're the little seatbelt covers that go across your seatbelt that just serve as a friendly reminder for students to buckle up for their loved ones. Unfortunately, Jonah and Tad lost their daughter to that car accident, and that was something that they knew she was really good about, was hugging her friends. And so that's something that really sparked them to start the whole campaign, the whole project, and the organization. And so that's something that they bring to schools is a hug day. But also students come up with promotion events, so they have the hug days where they come in and they'll do seatbelt checks. And they'll check for seatbelts, make sure who's wearing them, is a passenger wearing them, a driving wearing them, who else is in the car, is there distractions, they check for all those things. Um, this year they're looking for something to do with a 
a designated parking spot for a student that's really exemplified good positive behavior behind this behind the seat and the driver. Last Tuesday, the Weld County District Attorney came to Windsor High School to raise awareness of the newly updated law against sexting in Weld County. District Attorney Michael Rourke says that the sexting among high school students is more prevalent than most parents might think. This is much more rampant than I ever thought it was uh, it going on. Every school we walk into, we, we ask a teacher or a principal, have you had instances of sexting going on? And every school says we've had a lot of different problems with this. And it's boys, it's girls, it, it's not gender specific. Okay. Um, big problem. What advice do you have for parents? Parents, um, please, please understand and know what your kids are doing on social media. Um, don't have to be a helicopter parent, but be responsible in terms of knowing um, kids' passwords and setting boundaries and limits on what they can use social media for, when they can use their devices. But just know what our kids are doing. Windsor High School is undergoing construction, which is great, but it's causing a lot of a problem with the parking situation for Windsor students. Isaac Powers and Aaron Bodie have more on this current. The parking spaces for students have decreased because of the modulars and construction being built. With construction comes inconvenience, and for the 2017-18 school year, parking your car will be a challenge, one that students in security are already dealing with. Um, the parking lot is congested. It's, uh, it's just a tough, especially with the construction, we've had a lot of this cut off. Right now you see it's starting to open up, so I think that'll be better. I think the way the parking lot's laid out, maybe when they built it, it wasn't designed to handle this many kids. So I think it's great that they added that dirt back there. Um, but now it's just it's harder for them to get out because there's only one exit, which is here. So, and then the other problem is obviously people driving dangerous, cutting in line, which I've really started, you know, last year I started cracking down on that. Um, and now we've got Toby here with me. So yeah, we boot for that. So, you know, the boot's pretty effective. and. Uh, keeping that down so that's what we're working on you know right now but just trying to make sure everybody gets out of here safely because of the construction of the modulars the problems of line cutting and number of students this makes it very difficult to exit or enter the parking lot at the beginning and end of the day there are over 200 parking spaces for students and over 400 parking permits that was handed out the numbers clearly don't hold up which leaves students scrambling to park well, the major complaints I hear from students is the parking lot is crazy. <laughs> uh, and part of the reason is because there's only two exits that, that are possible to get out of that parking lot. And as our volume of students increase, uh, it's, it gets harder and harder to, um, you know, the time to get out of the parking lot. Mr. Thomas timed it last year, and I think it was 14 and a half minutes to get out of the parking lot. Um, so that, that pre presents issues at lunchtime, after school, if kids have to get to work, they, they complain about the parking um, situation. Um, the, crowded, the crowded parking lot is the, uh, what we, most hear, we hear most complaints on. Some suggestions are you can always do carpools, ride a bike, and always be safe in the student parking lot. I'm Isaac Powers, reporting for Wizard Weekly News. Quincy Noller is a junior at Windsor High School who is very involved with the community and the school. Katrina Reinard and Josh Gathright have more on what makes Quincy so unique. There are lots of great students that get involved in both academics and athletics in Windsor High School. Quincy Noller is one of those students that gets involved in sports and does well in school as well. I'm vice president of FCCLA and I'm also in Key Club which also helps with the town. I help clean up like trash and highway clean up. She does manage football and lacrosse for the school. I'm usually at football. I usually get home at 7 and then I do homework. So, I mean on the weekends if I get free time I usually hang out with friends. Quincy has a 3.8 slash 3.9 GPA and before she has gotten 4.0 GPAs before in the past. Quincy isn't perfect, however, for she does have her awkward moments and weird stories to tell. It was cold outside. It was playoff season for the football team. And the coach asked me to film practice. So I got get up on the ladder, and I'm recording. And it was very cold. And I'm standing there, and I remember getting really dizzy. And I take a few steps down. And I just fall off the ladder. And it was, it was an interesting story. I don't remember it. I just remember waking up and Jake Hammond was just standing there. 
asking if I was okay. And apparently I fell off a ladder in front of the football team. For someone that has both good grades and is very active in school activities, you might wonder who inspired her to be so great at everything she does. Well, my brother inspires me to do everything well because he did everything well, so I kind of just have to live up to that. Or my mom. My mom's awesome. <laughs> she does everything so well, and she just works hard at everything she does. I'm Joshua Gaffrey, reporting. Wicked Weekly News. <laughs> there are several new additions to WHS since last year, one of which is the greenhouse. Tucker Hain and Riley Parker have more on exactly what the FFA is and what our new greenhouse is bringing to the program. Welcome to the Wizard Weekly News. I'll be your host for this bulletin, Tucker Hain. With the recent construction of the greenhouse you see behind me just finishing, I think it's time you learned a little bit more about the people that will be Deep using it. in the recesses of the school, Past the echoing halls of the athletic building, you'll find a section dedicated to that of agriculture and the home of the FFA. Windsor High School offers a wide variety of activities related to the FFA, or Future Farmers of America. Most students are unaware of what the FFA club offers, or think that's all about agriculture. But it's so much more than that. It's kind of a stereotype to just people that are just farmers and that's honestly not true. I come from a NOAC background and I, I have fell in love with agriculture and what it means and what FFA means. Um, really FFA is really diverse. FFA is a national youth leadership organization which encompasses over 300 career options including but not limited to animal sciences, food services, and even mechanical services. The club is led by Ms. Spar and there are over 300 members just at Windsor High School. There are many travel opportunities and new learning environments that this group can offer those who are interested. And with the new greenhouse, FFA students now have additional agricultural opportunities. Tell us a little bit about the greenhouse. We are very excited for the greenhouse. Um, it's a little over a thousand square foot. Um, every year we will have a bedding plant sale in there in the spring. Um, the students will completely raise everything from seed to flower. In the fall, we're setting it up. We're working through a lot of different experiments in it right now. It really provides us a way to provide hands-on instruction for the students. We're really excited to have that. What can students learn? The events and benefits of the FFA stride beyond what most would expect. For instance, the FFA is currently working on their float for the homecoming parade, with aspects of every field of the club having a role in its creation. The club is open to anyone and everyone regardless of whether or not they may have any agricultural experience at all, not to mention traveling and competitions that may take place. The FFA has proven to be consistently successful. With awards lining their hallways, it's no wonder why the group club is growing more and more in terms of numbers, efforts, and respect. Reporting from Windsor Weekly News, I'm Tucker Hain, Channel 8. And that wraps it up for this week's Windsor Weekly News. We'll see you next week. Later! Oh, 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 oh,